so beautiful, but you know you look better with me. I can open up your eyes, show you something better to see. I can't get you out my head when I watch and repeat. I'm so far gone. I be thinking about the future, I can't stop seeing you. Why you bless me with this? The recording. Oh, so we gotta do it again. We gotta do it again. All right, we're back. I messed up. <laughs> All right. We should take ownership. Take it on, own it up. I will own it up. I'm, I'm not clear. done. I'm not done. Men need to hear this. Most of y'all, listen, what camera am I looking? Most of y'all have small. Most, most, most of y'all have small. It's slut shaming is born in the insecurities of men, and your insecurities are born in your penis and your wallet size. Mm. Because honestly, and I'm gonna be super frank here, I never heard a big man with not just big energy, not just BDE, mm -hmm. but a man who's well endowed. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a well endowed man call a woman a whore. Mm, Y'all doing a bunch of slut shaming back in the day. We're gonna leave that loud out. <laughs> I mean, you got a little ankle. <laughs> a little weenie. Listen. This is my thing. If you don't know who uh, Corinne Stefan is, Corinne Stefan is a uh, uh, self-professed superhead. Um, I did see the video that she did with... Uh, she's one of the original um, video vixen girls. So she's up there with like Melissa the Ford. And, Mr. Marcus. She did a video uh, with Mr. Marcus. Jessica Rabbit, those women. Um, and she was superhead. I, I mean, she was. She. I guess she, that was her all moniker. The, all the risk game you doing, y'all got that from her. <laughs> All, all this risk twist situation, you got that from her. Just letting you know. Don't think you got it from your girlfriend with the Florida that one time. No, she got it from her. No, yeah, so she's the, the original hot, wet, shaky, shaky mouth. She came out and basically said, if you hating on women, pretty much I'm paraphrasing. If you're hating on women or you're slut shaming women, you have a little wanky. And also that most men have little wankies. Most men. And basically, for what I hear from it, if you say anything that criticizes a woman in any way, they're going to consider it slut shaming and your wanky is small. To me, and she also said that men should marry uh, sluts mm. or whores or sexually promiscuous women. So, yeah, that's, that's just what it is. So what, what is your take on it as a woman? And, you know, is what she's saying true? And and we just out here slinging little wieners, bro, and and, and stuff. I mean, <laughs> yeah, what it is, bro. Okay, uh, to the men, um, if it if it don't apply, let it fly. Let's start off with that. Like, if you believe <laughs> that you're slinging ketchup all around, and <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, straight up. Like, if it does not apply to you, I will let something like this fly. She's speaking to a specific person or a specific demographic. So to speak for all men or who she or, you know, she said, look at the camera. I'm talking to you men or y'all should know this. The truth is she's speaking about a specific thing. And really that specific thing is what women have been campaigning about, which is, um, you better come correct. You better have this whole package, this this whole illustrious grandeur package that's supposed to be fulfilling for the rest of their lives, secular lives. Like the next thing, and this is to the women, this is to the young girls. Do not let this be the beat of the drum that you're going to go through in life. Don't, this is not accurate. This is asinine. And this is just really honestly a person. Eh, how can I put it? This is not the correct thing that a woman her age should be telling anyone. How old is she? I'm going to say she's in 50s. late thirties. Oh no, she's older than that. Or Okay. Yeah. All right, I give her that. She, we're going to say she's in her forties mm -hmm. and the truth is you're not going to feel this way in forties. I'm in my mid to late thirties now and how I felt in my twenties to now are vastly different. Also, when it comes to someone saying that she knows that men have tiny penises, that means she went through a lot of penises. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't doubt that what she's saying could have been majority of her experiences, she's but what 43. I, yeah, but what, you know, what I will say is that it's unfortunate that the young girls today, like yourself and whoever's watching, 
have to see this example of black women because that's not the truth. I think she's just she's being facetious. She's not being honest. And it's unfortunate to you guys because this is what's being pushed and this is what you guys have to go on. Um, it's unfortunate. It really is. I, I, you know, I grew up watching Corinne Steffens myself. I've seen her in a lot of my favorite videos uh, from Big Pimpin to Lil Wayne's videos. Like, I mean, I know who she is very well. And I think this is a horrible, look. horrible look on her part because she's very articulate. She's an intelligent person. And I just think she's having a crisis in the whole like, OK, I want to give my take on it because she is someone back in the day that was respected. And now, you know, she's she's an older girl, like she's an older woman. It's, it doesn't make any sense to even speak. So you saying she over the hill? I just think that this is stupid. I just think that she should be above this. Like, I don't see Pinky, right. who's like a well-known older back in the day porn star. I know you right. guys know Pinky. I don't see her decimating herself to this. To come on a, a show and to speak about something at the end of the day, paid her. It's 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 just not good taste. Like you know, it's just not good taste. And her talking about tiny penises to me is like it's a catch twenty two because I know you know a lot about penises, but at the same time, it's like <laughs> you are kind of seal. You know, it's kind of one of those things where it's like really. Like, come on, man. Don't do that. A lot of these tiny penises have paid for your lifestyle. A lot of these tiny penises. Yeah, because she said she was married to a guy that had an inch and a half penis. Yeah, see, that's... that's So my question is, you were playing with this penis before you got married. You still married him. Then it must have been about money. Yeah, And if it is about money, that's fine. But this is what happens when women collide with men on ideals see as women we think like women we feel like women we interact like women and then we reason like women and we try our best to integrate that into how men feel operate and integrate and interact with each other and those two are separate she's not wrong with the whole overcompensation of money men have done that from the test of time but that's on their merits meaning men do that between them and for you to be on the outskirts looking in, trying to give a intellectual observation or opinion about it, it's just stupid. You don't know. You don't know what that is. That's like watching in on guys grab, grab assing or butt, you know, in the locker room. Like we don't we're thinking it's gay. Like if a woman looked at it like, oh, you guys are gay. But yeah. that is how you guys, I guess. It is a little gay. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. The Slap reference, ass. <laughs> the reference is that. <laughs> We don't understand it because in the women's locker room, we don't do that. We just, you know, high five and keep it moving. Hold on. Let's stop real quick. Y'all give each other intense massages. Like y'all do more than what men do. But, so I just want to put that in for men. Like y'all sit on the couch and I'm just rubbing her ankle because it's tight. Men don't do that. But that's what I'm saying. Both parties. Am I looking at secure right now? Am I looking at secure? No, I'm just saying. I got a small penis, y'all. Dang. Can you? Don't do that. Listen, <laughs> let's be serious. Because the one thing. I don't think it is serious. Though, no, no. It's serious as far as if a person was to watch and to take in this content and understand it from both sides. The both sides you have to understand is from she is not a man. There's never on any configuration on earth a woman is going to understand from a man's position. Let's put that out there. Second thing. You have chosen to be with small penises. You've chosen that. So you don't get to critique it. That's that's the part I'm trying to like really convey. You chose small penises. So you get the prize. You chose stupidly. This is the stupid prize that you get. As far as other women taking this in. Yes, the term is if a man has a small penis, he usually overcompensates for something. But he has the leisure to do that. Because, see, when you overcompensate a uh, black woman with your uh, I'm a boss, I'm independent at my own house, there's nothing you can do for me. Your count consolation prize is that you're alone or that you have to secretly pay for men. Don't we, we know that. So yeah, there's some people out here buying penis. Yeah. So, again, Gigolos. I think it's unfortunate as far as she has came as much as she has accomplished that she will reduce herself to saying something that I think is just a choice that you made and you got to live with that choice and putting that out there. Like it's wrong when you've taken the money. It's contradictory. So um, I would like to reiterate, this is not important. 
<laughs> That's something a woman would say because women tend to focus on things that are not important. This is not important. Here's the truth about life. Your product, Miss Corinne, literally. Now, well, most women will say that, oh, you're just being mean, but you are a marketed, self-marketed product. It's in your name, super head. That's what dudes are buying. You're, you've, you've marketed your permi- promiscuity, which you have the right to do, which, hey, I'm not hating on. But that's not important in the world. Do you understand that it is just a thing in the red light district in Europe? This is something men buy. It's just in the grand scheme of life, it's not important. Well, they have small penises, but they also have the money to, money to purchase your mouth like that. When men buy things like that, it means nothing. It's just like crashing a Porsche. It means nothing to them. And the truth is that the time goes on and at the time goes on, at the time goes on, you're sitting around and you're 44 years old in other five years, you will be buying penis. Yeah. And you will be in that position to run into the younger dudes who don't think you're all of that. And you'll have to buy a leather coat or, you know, buy, you'll have to trick a little bit. And it's just a true, unless you go older and older up the Lorraine and you date yeah. someone 60 or something like that, which you probably do. And you have your own money. But the truth of the matter is you sacrifice sexual attraction to the person you were with sexual gratification and real connection. You sacrifice that for money in the men you picked. You pick those dudes who had the bag. And a lot of those guys who had the bag in those situations may not have been what you were into sexually, but they were into what you, you were, they were what you were into monetarily. And now you're flipping it and coming back around and saying, most dudes have small winkies or most of the dudes you're choosing based on their bank account had small winkies. Maybe that's the truth. That's like me saying, um, most women can't cook. And all I, and all I did was pick freaking um, Nicki Minaj clones that didn't cook. And then I come back on my podcast and say, no women can cook. Like, I can't do that. I purposely ducked the chick that probably could cook for the look that I wanted. Yeah. Or are you saying, well, most women will stab you in the back, but you're chasing a certain type of woman only. You're chasing a certain type of club girl, party girl type situation. And you're wondering why she can't maintain a house. It's the same thing. You're mad because what you picked had a byproduct. You may run into a dude with a bunch of money. You may run to a guy who's high in corporate, may, but he may not have the sexuality that you want or the sex that you want. That's the byproduct. You may run into a dude that has all the sexual stuff you like and he don't have the money. The <laughs> it's not important. You are a package. It's like buying cereal. That is the truth about men who are very confident in themselves. That's how we look at something like this. When you say this is, I feel like these conversations are necessary. And when you, I want people to understand, especially women, when men say it's not important or TV says it's not important. I remember in the beginning, I used to think like, what is this guy talking about? What he's saying in the grand scheme of things as women, you have to understand that that's how men view us. They, they're conditioned and trained to cooperate with us, interact with us. But if things, if laws, if, bylaws were not in place this would be a completely different situation every any other place in the world does not deal with these outbursts and these chants and rants and manifestations from women like they just don't and so one it's not important in the grand scheme of things because like i said this is a person who chose her fate she chose her path yo so she has to take the good with the bad another thing is that she's not willing to take accountability for that at that time you know that's what she wanted she wanted the money and the money was enough for her to overlook the tiny penises like it just was we'll just say bad sex well, well, I like you said the motion of the ocean and what right, have you. But like, I think you just her had big, bad sex. Darling. I think her biggest thing was not that was not what was prioritizing for her at that time, and it's okay because that's what growth is. How you feel at one point portion of your life is hopefully you're going to evolve out of it or morph out of that. And so, as this woman at 43 right now, it astonished me that she uses this platform opportunity to talk about something at the end of the day. Where's, where's the growth? 
Where's the growth? Where's the, you know what? I did have small penises. I did chase the money. Here's what I will say. I was unhappy. I was not sexually, sexually satisfied. I probably was fiending or wanting other men or whatever the case may be. But here's what I've learned. ABCFG. Where's the learning experience at your age saying that men have small penises? OK, what is that information supposed to do for somebody? What? Nothing. It means that for the time that you've been on this earth, it's a valid. And that's why men don't care what women have to say, because no. when we go through the rankings or we go through the time or the decades and you guys are still saying things back at 16, 17 to 25, there's no evolution. And if a woman does agree with a man, it's like you're a mimic. It's like you're just carbon copies of what men are saying so you could be selected and then you don't have to go through life alone or so. It's just a hot mess. It's a hot mess. And I just, it's a sad day for black women today. If you walked up to a man and you asked him, what's important to you? Your, your, um, Purchased chick on the side, or if I scratch your car, what is he gonna pick? He's gonna say the car. He's gonna say the car. <laughs> if 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 you told him, listen, if you roll this dice, you can pick between that chick you're tricking on and screwing, or your favorite TV in your movie room. What do you think he's going to pick? I want my TV. Yeah. In the ranking of what's important to a man, this conversation and this type of person is very low. Let me, let me show you how there must be NDAs around the dude she married. Cause I've never heard her being married to anyone. Yeah. I've never, if she even was married, I don't know. It is not important. Now, if you go to them and you talk to, you know, let's say Denzel Washington's wife doesn't look like her. But the importance level is way up here is because she offers some other than hot mouth. Now, she could be offering that. We don't know. But she offers something other than hot mouth. A household. It affects his health by what she cooks, what she keeps in the house. Her acknowledgement about alchemy and cooking affects his life expectancy. That's important. And the fact that she's a part of the team, a lot of y'all go forth with this sense of individuality still in a relationship or a marriage. You are now a part of a team. So just like representatives, you go outside or you interact with the public or even in uh, conversations with people all reflects on the team. The marriage, the, the relationship that you want to proclaim. I, I love how women have this oh, I want to keep my love life private, but you speak about the most intimate details. Right, you, that's very You intimate. talk about things that at the end of the day, why are we talking about the inside of his butthole? Or why are we talking about how he does you? It's just, it's so frustrating for me because like I said, with women, we don't even tell each other the correct things to be progressive or to be fruitful or to be successful in marriages, let alone relationships. So, like I said, to see this, the reason why it doesn't matter is because it appears she lost. She's not talking about my husband right now. Cause let me tell you something. No way if she was in a marriage, her husband will let her do this. There's just no way. We're watching the Jada and Will Smith. She's single now. Yeah, yeah, she's single now because we're watching the Jada and Will thing unravel. No man in their right mind in today's, in this today's age is going to allow this to be affronted it's not worth the risk so like i said her sitting here shows so many tells one you're no longer married two you want us to vibe with you and side with you on your decisions take it like a woman and go ahead go on you've learned that small penises are not worth the money that's what i got out the conversation it ain't worth the money so you so guess what now we're back to going to the pookies and ray rays and, and calling tyrone like the trash this, truck it's guy it's just the circle bro it's the, the mover circle. you know the the regular old driver guy or the guy who has a regular old office job 
who that you regular have been dude. with in the first place. Why? Because your mind state is there. A lot of your mind state is average at best anyway. Your mind state, what you value is average. You guys value luxury and stuff like that. But the truth is you guys don't have the mental maintenance to keep up with that. Mm. You don't have the you don't have the money to keep up with that. And when I say mental maintenance, I'm talking about things that evolve. You should be glow, uh, growing, blossoming. Uh, you should be in a, in, a, in a perpetual state of wonderment. You should be wanting to learn. For you to say this, like I said earlier, this is the stupidest thing I ever heard. Because it did nothing and it showed that you have done nothing. Yeah, in because my you came out, according to this, in 05. Confessions of a Video Vixen came out in 05 and it was about all of the penises that you sucked for money. Then it's 2022 and your next viral moment is about penises it's again. It's about penises you, again. You have so not grown. From the man male species, <laughs> I'm feeling sexually harassed right now. Like you are Let just go. Obsessed, <laughs> obsessed with our sexual organ and we don't have to take it no more. <laughs> Get away. Go, I mean, you wrote books and stuff. Why does this even matter unless you're about to drop a book? Well, that's what. So the exploitation, again, if everything is about making money, then when do women love? When do women cater? When do women do the things that men are asking for them to do? Because I'm seeing this to be a repetitive pattern. Oh, I only pour into people that invest in me. Okay. Initial investments, right? Usually have some sample of what you can do. And if all you can do is talk about penises, then don't be surprised when all a man wants to offer you is penis. I mean, it's a simple trade off. And if I'm a billionaire, you don't, you don't get to judge my size. I'm a billionaire. Yeah. Well, you're winky small, but I have a billion dollars. Like, like you're going to say, I don't have to be attractive. Yeah. He's like, I don't have to be attractive. I'm, I'm a billionaire. I'm always cute. You're going to suck this small winky. And matter of fact, you're going to like it because I got the money to do it. And those dudes are probably super rude. Yeah, I can pay for you to like it. And she, and she is just fed up. She's just freaking sick of it. Yeah. And it's like, you're here later. Okay. You'll say, well, I'm no, I'm no, um, I had a good life and you probably did. You had money and everything. That's what you hold dear. But here we are. A lot of the chicks that we knew from back then, Brandy isn't making a penis podcast. Uh, uh, LL Cool J's wife isn't making a penis podcast. There's a lot of women from back then. Gabrielle Union isn't talking about penis sizes right now. And another thing, let's take it back. This is why uh, Big Mama is is so missed in the community. It's uncouth for you to be doing this. It's not. It's just not good taste. Well, if you, tact. yeah, it's like you are. You know, first of all, who raised you? Who raised you? Like <laughs> my thing is this: what is the end goal? If I was to ask Karen, Karen, okay. So you said all that to say what? That a woman technically would have to choose because there's a lot of women that marry men for small penises, a lot of money, and they are content with their decision. There's a lot of women that say, you know what? Not really into the money. I really prefer sex. You know, that chandelier swinging and uh, multiple orgasms and an hour sex. And so people are content with their decisions. What's your end game? What are you trying to convey? Are you trying to convey that frustration is yeah that, because like i said with anything that someone says i always try to look at well what's the message what's the moral uh compass out of the story and it looks like you're right back to square one that you got yourself back into a situation where you were doing something you didn't want to do in the first place corinne nobody wants to have to do anything and listen there's nothing worse than that person you are repulsed by oh Climbing on top of you, and I bet you he, he smelled like oh. like garlic bread and French grease. 
and, and he don't do he climb on top and when he's doing it he's probably sweating in his old hair what? and it's so dripping down French grease and American I don't know grease. but she knows <laughs> and he's on that and he's just going <laughs> yeah. uh, and, uh, and then he gets tired because he's rich and he just roll over you say go, I'm a puppy you gonna have to finish baby oh and, and he then, probably got lint rolled up in it and, and it's gray uh, <laughs> and then and then when he's done he tells her I don't want to mess with this you got to swallow it and you got to swallow this old garlic and, and papaya mix <laughs> and you're pissed <laughs> off that you still have to do this but hey you got the money yeah dumb Chanel bags cost me <laughs> <laughs> you have to take this to the face no that's why y'all ladies be going through some right. like, imagination move like they're like oh my god like I've been to Chanel store like right. I'm an older woman Ugh. myself I'm here <laughs> to let you young girls know this is BS. Let me tell you from an old. Let me tell you from an old G perspective, ladies. I keep it real simple. If he makes you laugh, if you can fall asleep, and your money and change is still in your pocketbook, <laughs> mm, she doesn't think about change. I think about. I have a thing. I have a horrible story. I will tell y'all one day. And the most important thing is that he puts you in his priorities, meaning your opinion matters. He he comes to you. He confides in you. It's really that simple. It It's really that simple. It's not as complicating. The money, the fame or whatever else she's selling you, you can get that technically on your own. Especially in today's society. Yeah, there was no you, internet when she was popping. Like yeah, that. you can get money on your own. You can get the the materialistic things on your own. You technically don't need to have a man to do that. That is true. However, if you want to go to sleep with someone at night, there's other things that have to be a priority. And one of them is inviting that person into your world and growing with them. And I would hope, this is just my opinion, I will hope that you choose a peer, someone that's in a five to six year age bracket away from you or before you do not go a decade up or down. Right. You're going to have so, that hot papaya juice yeah, in your throat. I would recommend don't, you know, older people, that's what younger people, vice versa, don't do that. Yeah. Try to stay with your peers because you can go through life together and they can record life with you together appropriately. So yeah, when we have old moments, we're at the same level of old. Yeah. Like, we were going to mess around, but do you just want to eat cereal and watch Big Bang Theory? Like exactly. that type of stuff. We're not in here and she's not having to like fix my hip. Yeah. You know, and, and the thing that she's going through is, is that most of the time, the real truth, the real ballers that they never tell you about, they're not luckers. Yeah. You know, oh, well, you know, I'm talking about uh, ball players. That's a small percentage of ballers. The people with the in the real world that got money, they're balding. They have worse than dad bods. They work a lot of freaking hours and they're awkward. Yeah. That's the real money dudes, money people you see. You run into this. She had a time where she capitalized on her light skinness, you know, and, um, and it fizzled out and it, and it fizzled and Oops, it fizzled sorry. out. So I, I laugh at stuff like this, man. This was to me, like I said, it's not important. I just touched on it because I thought it was funny. Uh, we got it. I got this um, clip portion right here from pink book lessons y'all make sure y'all go sub and follow like them lessons and uh don't do drugs and if you don't want to choke down <laughs> well, garlic not, filled uh, choking down because it's small <laughs> salty like they've been eating weird deli meats all day <laughs> if you ain't not trying to suck down that with gray pubic hairs every day to the point where you hate it and end up where she's at maybe you should figure out how to do some money on your own <laughs> Pick up a trade in tech. Because if I'm rich like that, <laughs> I'm not going to smell good. <laughs> so bad. And I told you, if I had that kind of money, I probably would be one of the but dudes she's what? talking about. Because I would be terrible to deal with. But you know, I'm pretty sure there's older women with lots of money and they don't. Get out there. They don't wipe themselves all the Th way. There's some August Alcinas in Atlanta. Entanglement. Letting. A big birth the size chick with an RN sit on their face for a place to live. And when she spread them cheeks open, mm. and it smells like you gotta get in there. You gotta get in there. Who hot the and, and, and when you try to duck doing it right, she gonna be like, "Stop playing, do it for real." Smash your face in it. And you know all she all she eat is is a whole bunch of waffles with and salt. No crab. 
Put that thick uh, artery clogging butter. <laughs> Obey and garlic powder. Like, oh. be nice to me today. Smelling like pork and bean juice. <laughs> you know that. You know that one meme where the old head is singing on the phone and they just sitting there listening to yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's dudes out here that's in her position that's giving up that sex for a place to stay. No, it, and we, it's and true. Listen, our heart pains for you too. But you know one thing about men. This is one thing I say about men in those situations. When it's time for them to re-strategize and make a different move, they out you five thousand. They will not. They grow like their situations grow. Men yeah. are like Chris Rock said, are as faithful as their options, and it doesn't have to be options faithful change. to options of women. It's just options in life. Yeah. If there's a better situation. He's going to go for it. Right. That could be a friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we listen. Them dudes humping the state to live. First of all, you gotta realize people humping to have a have a life. They're good at humping. Don't get yeah. that that messed up. He put that freaking heat rock on your best friend. It's your rat. I'm just letting you know right now. I'm getting shot in the foot and everything. <laughs> <laughs> listen. Don't think party gotta be with Megan, bro. Don't listen, bro. Nah, he was with Cash now. Yeah, he can yeah. get checks. Like. He can just shop around. He's probably waiting right now. He's probably looking like, listen, if you lose this, I have to leave because it's right, not really right. a good yeah, look. Sullivan was on stage. She got stuff going on. I don't got to be here. <laughs> like, for real. So we already found out he do not do drugs and, and try to do better. That's all Please. we want y'all to do. Put a, try to do better and put the salty, unattractive genitalia you got to obviously put it down. Right? Small penises and They got money. the money. It's not a good comment. I'm broke. I ain't got no money. Bro. Boogie Ray Ray. <laughs> Boogie Ray Ray gang. Out. <laughs> Be a boss. We out here 5,000. Don't do drugs. 